Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the paper settings on your Epson printer. So Epson printer paper settings allow you to specify the type and size of paper you're using and will adjust the ink coverage accordingly. So in regards to paper type, this could just be you know standard plain paper, letter, legal, doesn't really matter. You also might have envelopes, photos, other sorts of paper you might want to try and run through your printer as well. So we're going to go about how to change or access those settings. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by in the top right, the category view. And then you want to select hardware and sound. Underneath Devices and Printers, select Advanced Printer Setup. And now in here, you want to select the Epson entry. And now you want to access Printing Preferences. Underneath the Main tab, there should be an area on the right side that mentions the paper type, as well as the document size, alongside other options, of course, as well. So first thing, if you want to adjust the document size, you can click on the drop down here. You can select legal letter paper, A4, executive envelope style, so forth. So you have a lot of different options in here to really customize the paper size. And you can also adjust the paper type by clicking in the drop down underneath paper type. So it's probably a good secondary area to take a look at, especially if you're going to be doing an envelope, for example, or if you're doing any photo pictures, any sort of artwork, you might need to print it out using a special type of paper. So you got glossy paper, semi-gloss, matte, that sort of stuff. So you might need to go under here. And that's pretty much it. If you made any changes, you would have to select apply and OK to save the change. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.